Great, so welcome to our Thermomix Christmas demo, and I'm going to hand straight over to our two presenters, Racer and Fiorella. Okay, so my name is Raisa, and um, basically I have been a Thermomix advisor for uh, almost two years now. And I started by running a cooking school um, called Sweet Sultry Spice Cooking, and I do everything Indian, Pakistani, curries, all of that. And then I discovered the Thermomix and thought, where have I been living under this big rock <laughs> for sure? Um, and it just changed everything. And so now I teach my classes using the machine. And yeah, curries are, I love curries. Um, so I'm just, uh, Fiorella, do you want to just introduce yourself? And then I'll just go on the first recipe. That's, that's a good idea. So hello, hello everybody, I'm Fiorella. I'm a Thermomix team leader, I'm in Milton Keynes. And I have been so happy for three years because I have my little baby. And yes, I just love everything about it. It's just know the way that it gives me freedom so, so I can do whatever I want while cooking. But all this, the savings that I have with the Thermomix and I'm more creative. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the Thermomix. So obviously today we're gonna show you a couple of recipes but we have plenty. And obviously we would love to have you in our teams, in, in our family, ther Thermomix family. So yes, so I hope you enjoyed today's, today's cooking class. Okay, so I'm just going to, so we're gonna do four recipes here and, and there's there's such a huge variety that we wanted to make it Christmassy. So I'm gonna start off by making um, a red and green shortbread. Um, that is coated with white chocolate. And then Fiorella will do some brandy hot chocolate. Um, and then uh, I will, uh, oh, then you're gonna do the cheese straws and then I'll finish off with the soup. And then I'll show you cookie dough, which is a he really is with, which is an application that comes with the machine. And um, I'll just go through that and show you how versatile it is. And really, I mean, it, it just makes, uh, it, it takes the machine to a whole different level. So, all right, so I'm just gonna start here and I'm trying to show you my screen and it's not working. So, hold on. Okay, so you can see my screen somewhat, right? Um, so I'm just gonna start with the red and green shortbread. And basically what this is, is um, a pistachio cranberry shortbread that is just dipped in white chocolate. So I'm gonna show you the first part of it and then I'll show you, then I'll melt some chocolate and finish off. So um, the thermal mix already, uh, basically I've, I've um, the way the recipes work is that you've got the recipe here and you can scroll down see it tells you um, how long it's going to take prep time and servings ingredients and then steps and basically what you do is you're just going to start cooking and follow this step by step so i'm just going to press start cooking it's telling me to preheat my oven to 150 degrees celsius and then I'm gonna hit next and line my baking tray with parchment paper. Um, and then I'm just gonna weigh in my rice. So you can see this scale here. It is, uh, the scales are actually in the feet of the machine um, and they go to the ground. So if you have the TM5, um, it would do every increment of five grams. And this has just gotten a bit better, the, the newer model. So I'm gonna do 40 grams of rice. Now, normally I wouldn't be pre-measuring, but because we're doing this demo here, I've just measured everything and I'm just gonna add it in. So 40 grams of rice and I just use a basmati because that's what I have in the fridge, or sorry, in the cabinet. Adding some 60 grams of raw sugar. And this is a very low sugar recipe. Um, and I'm just going to, it's saying insert the lid with the measuring cup. 
And I'm going to process this for one minute at speed 10. So it, it's actually in very fine writing, it's saying turn the speed selector to speed 10. Speed 10 is for milling. Um, there's speeds from one to 10. Five is usually chopping and 10 is milling. So you can mill anything and make loads of flowers. You can grind your spices and all of that. So one minute, it's gonna be a bit loud, but here we go. It's just, it's one minute, try some, or 10 seconds. One minute. Yes, so, well, in one minute, I can show you because maybe you can see here better the screen. Can you see better? Yes, that's better. Okay, so, well, uh, if this is how you turn on, when you turn on the Thermomix, you will see this. So this is the time, oh, sorry, the time. So you can cook up to eight hours. And then in here we have the temperature that goes from 37 to 160. And then in here we have the speed of the blade. So as Risa said, obviously, if you go for, uh, for, um, for higher, it's going to be uh, faster. But this little, little sign that we have here is if you touch it, you could go, oh, didn't touch it the right way. If you touch it, it will go in reverse mode. Okay, so that means, I think it's better if I show you like this. I think Ryzen is almost ready. So the blades, these are the blades for the Thermomix and they go in one way. So this is the normal way to chop and to cut all the ingredients. And the other way is reverse. So as you can see it's one, one way and the other way. So let me do it slowly so you can see that there are two different ways. And the, the reverse mode is to just to steer or to near, so to knead. All, all in there. So you don't need to take the blades and put a new one. So everything is in the same one. I think, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. So uh, it, it's, I've ground everything up for a minute and you will see, I just put a towel over the top because I was getting this cloud of dust. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So, the, can you see the the puff of dust? No, it this is what it all it is ground up. So you can tell that it's just really this is I, I do all of my flour. So when, when I'm making gram flour and things, I just use chickpeas when um I need oat flour. That's what I'm using. Um uh, I'm using the machine, even grinding my spices. I don't buy any ground spices because they, the shelf life of these spices when they're already ground up are diminished and they don't last as long. They're not as potent. And so you're really, um, just by using the machine, you're really going to get better quality, probably, well, I would say for sure, better tasting curries and, whatever it is that you're making in the machine. So I'm just scraping everything down. And it's cheaper, and it's cheaper that way. <laughs> so you don't have to buy, I don't know, icing sugar for, for as, as fancy. So it's like normal sugar and the Thermomix and the same as uh, Raisa did right, right now. Yeah, so you can see, um, you can see how powdery and fine that is. And that's what's really good. And with, and with shortbread, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for sort of uh, the graininess from the rice and the sort of the melt in your mouth from the sugar. So, all right, I'm gonna add my flour in. So Raisa, what's the difference between normal sugar and raw sugar that you've used? Oh, you know what? Um, I actually have just used normal sugar. I think raw sugar is unprocessed. So, um, oh, yeah, because you haven't got any bleaching agents or anything like that, then. Yeah, so I've just used um, plain sugar because that's what I have. Um, and by the way, you can substitute any kind of sugar that you want. I know some people like coconut sugar, and um, uh, there's so many different varieties out there. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say experiment. 
Okay, so 300 grams of plain flour. So I'm gonna stick that in. Um, and then butter. So I'm just gonna tear this because sometimes if you are leaning on the machine, um, the scales will register a weight. And so I always make sure that I've zeroed out my scales. I'm just adding my butter in. And now I'm just going to mix everything. And five seconds at speed five. So you can see how quick that is. Um, because if you were doing that by hand, that would take a, a, definitely a longer time. Okay, so keep the measuring cup in. And now it's telling me to knead this. So I've got the kneading function here. And I'm just gonna do 40 seconds of kneading this dough. I'm just bringing the dough together. So I think one of the really good things about the machine is so if you're going to make, I do a lot of brioches, I do a lot of rotis and um, even everyday sandwich breads, all of that. So it all, the kneading kind of takes everything. Basically, you don't have to do it. So if I'm doing brioche, it's 10 minutes of the machine kneading for me or even sourdough. You know, sourdough is such an intensive um, process. So, all right, I've got one second left. It's pretty good for making gluten-free bread as well, because I have to have periods when I have gluten-free only, and it's really good for that, actually. Yeah, there's so many, there are so many different things you can do. It's just, it's fantastic. Okay, so 100 grams of pistachios, and I actually can't, couldn't find them at the shop. So I'm just using walnuts in my recipe and um, I'm sure it'll taste great. And then 100 grams of cranberries. And so I've just got dried cranberries here and I'm adding those in. And then, oops. Okay, so um, the great thing about the machine is that it is kid proof and you know, it does. So I, had, I was trying to go to the next function without the lid and it just wouldn't move forward. And it actually said, um, there was a message on the screen saying you the lid is not on, uh, please put the lid on. So very, um, it's got a lot of safety features on it and so, Tur is telling me to mix everything for uh, using the turbo function, which is a quick blitz, and do that three times, then it will actually chop up the walnuts and the cranberries that I have in um, my dough. And what we can't see is that at the bottom, it actually has the instruction. It just tells you to turn the button, doesn't it? Because it's not obvious from, from just looking at the screen at the moment, but there are actually instructions there telling you what to do. Yeah, it's um, very clear. Um, it is, like I tell everyone, it's, it's husband proof. So with my husband, he, <laughs> he really struggles. <laughs> so... Um, this is what I get. Basically, just it's a really pliable, very, um, uh, uh, you, it just looks like a, a, a shortbread, it has all the cranberries and everything in it. And what you do is you take it out, you roll it into a log, and then um, keep it in the fridge until it gets a bit solid. Um, and all of these instructions are on here on the machine. There's actually a video here that shows you how to roll it into a log and cut it. Um, and then once you do that, you're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. And then you're going to dip it in white chocolate. And so um, Fiorella is now gonna do, um, oh, let me start the hot, the white chocolate and then I'll pass it to you. 
Yes, let's do it. So I'm really happy with the recipes that I'm gonna do. Chocolate and my chocolate. Oh, let me just start with the hot, with the white chocolate melting. And while it's melting, I'll have you do the um, uh, the hot chocolate. So I'm just going to. So I've done my dough, and now it is telling me to refrigerate it. Um, and while it's in the fridge, cool, um, getting cold and baking. I'm going to go to the next step and melt my white chocolate. So it's asking me for about 300 grams of white chocolate. Mm. And I've just cut it up into pieces. So basically, big pieces here. I'm just going to dump that in. And I'm going to chop this. So five seconds at speed eight. So it's telling me turn speed selector to speed eight and it's just going to chop it up. <sighs> All right. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's basically pulverized it. And I mean, look at that. It's just a fine snowflake sort of consistency. Click next. And now I'm gonna cook this, melt it for three minutes at 37 degrees. So you can see the temperature here and at speed one. So Fiorella, I'll turn it over to you. Yes, let's do it, let's do it. So I'm gonna, make a chocolate, um, hot chocolate. It's really, really easy, but sometimes you spend a lot of time in the hoop or in the microwave and you don't want this for all the radiation and all the stuff. So with the Thermomix, it's really easy and let's do it right now. I'm gonna just show you this before I start cooking. And I'm gonna go to my week because you can plan your week. Well, Brisa will show you how to do it later. And I'm gonna go to my week and I'm gonna show you the recipes that I'm gonna, I'm gonna make today. So I'm gonna go for hot chocolate and the, the cheese roll. I have this because I'm gonna make those later as well. So I'm gonna go for hot chocolate and every single recipe that we have in Cookie Do, you will see this information. So you will see the difficulty of the recipe, the preparation time, the total time and service size, okay? And then here you will see all the ingredients. Well, in this case, it's really, really easy. And the preparation steps is only one, so simple. But it gives you a little uh, ideas and it gives you tips. And something that I love about it is give you the nutrition values of every single one of the recipes. So we have more than 75,000 recipes that you can see all the nutrition values. In this case, it's for one cup, it's 255 calories well not that bad for a hot chocolate in this winter so i'm gonna start cooking and we're gonna click here and as you can see it tells you what to do and it wait for you so if i add my ingredients in there it will wait for me and then if i go next it tells me the next step so it's really really easy i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna take you back here so you can see when i'm adding the ingredients so the same as risa so i have everything already measure just to do it faster with you today, but you don't need to do that. So I'm gonna add the milk. That's fine. You can go a little over or less, it's not a problem. And then I have some big chunks or of chocolate here. So I have milk and dark chocolate and all goes in there. Let me see, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna click next. And now it's telling me that I need to close my lid, my bowl, sorry, with the lid. And I'm gonna click next. And now, same, I'm gonna show you that you don't have to think about the recipe. So it tells you that it's six minutes. The speed is 175 Fahrenheit. And in this case, it's a speed one. So I'm gonna turn this on and that's it. It's melting, it's heating and just mixing all together. And I don't have to do anything else. So I'm just waiting for that. I have my cup ready here, some marshmallows and chocolate for the kids, and it's done. So six minutes here. Right size, no there, so I can show you 
when she's let me, yeah, let me see so i can show you that when you buy the thermomix can you hear me yes we can well when you buy the thermomix you will receive this amazing machine and you will receive all these things that i'm going to show you so this is the shimmering basket that is goes in here let me show you in another bowl so this goes in like that so this is great for a uh, rice potatoes just to steam to steam it then you will receive the bottle fry whisk there you go this one so this is great for cakes for um whipped cream this is perfect and then you will receive the varoma set so the varoma set is this this all this that is the varoma basket this one the varoma tray this one and obviously the lid all this goes on the top of the lid like that so you can have a, a whole meal in minutes so you can have for example the soup in there then potatoes or rice in here and then veggies on the shimmering basket and then on the top you can have fish uh, you can make omelette whatever you want so it's like all a meal in just here <laughs> so you don't have to have all the kitchen like crazy so it's everything in here so that's something that you will love and i forgot about Marilla, can you reheat food in there too yes yes one of the modes actually is the warm-up so if you cook something in advance for example the hot chocolate i'm gonna leave it here and when my kids are coming back from a school i will warm it up in here so it's a mode so it's like a, a hob a microwave yes yes an oven and the good thing about it you can decide the temperature of it so for yeah. example i have my hot chocolate now here and i want them i want to drink it again this afternoon and i want it in i don't know 70 degrees or 50 degrees and i can just say okay thermomix i want this in 70 degrees and it will let you know when it's ready so it's perfect so it's quite interesting so if you have say a, a child going off to university I, I mean i remember wanting to cook entirely for myself this could be their um the thing that they could cook with totally couldn't they yes exactly i have a lot of customers that they they have bought a thermomix for their kids and they're in college and they have this in the in their rooms so they don't have a kitchen so it's everything in in here so and they yes all the food is is great and very very healthy because it's everything they're cooking from scratch obviously they cook they do a lot of cocktails because you can make that in here and obviously they love do that my customer they always tell me oh my god my kids are so popular now with they have the thermomix <laughs> they're like okay in my room let's make some delicious recipes and they go so yes this is a great machine that will help everybody in your house so it's not you your husband your partner your their, their kids so it's it's just an amazing machine <laughs> the other thing that's brilliant for students is that it cleans itself and um, i've got three boys who've either been to university or are there at the moment and actually the problem is clearing up afterwards it's always a nightmare and you go and use your pan and someone else has used it and then they've left it with sort of dried baked beans on that that will never ever come off with this thing you just put some water and a tiny bit of fairy liquid in and it cleans itself i mean it really is incredibly easy to use and and another thing so they they have time to study because if you're cooking in here you don't need to be here so obviously we're now here because we are talking to you and everything but normally if i i'm cooking something i can go away and i can if i'm in, in college so i can study for some exam or or in my case, I just play with the kids, may do homework with them. So it's something that is not, you don't need to be there for a cook. So it's something that is really, really nice as well. Um, okay, so I'm actually, my chocolate has melted. And so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. <laughs> and well, I really, I love this because normally if I was going to do this on the stove top, I'd have to have a water bath and in here, basically I'm just melting it and pouring it into my bowl. So I, um, so I had about 300 grams of white chocolate in here. And so all I'm going to do is pour it out into this thick 
Uh, it, I wish you guys were here actually, because it just looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it out. I did make some cookies beforehand just to show you. Um, the dough that I made, I just rolled it out into a log. You're gonna put that in the fridge until it gets solid and then you're slicing it up um, into medallions. And the machine shows you how to do that. Um, there's a video on here just in case you don't know. So I've got these cookies here and you can see they're really pretty. You know, the red and green um, specks in here are just super awesome. Okay, so all I'm doing at this point is taking the cookie um, and my bowl of melted chocolate and I'm just gonna dip it in. And these are great gifts to give, which is why one of the reasons why I chose this recipe because it's just so pretty. So you can see how pretty that is. And you're just gonna, I'm just gonna do a couple here and just put it on my tray and let them dry. And that's it. I mean, honestly, that, that's just so easy. So that's it. And you just keep going until you've coated all of them. And then you can put them in pretty cellophane bags and give them to your neighbor. Uh, the one thing that I just wanted to quickly go through is I know we were talking about the cleaning function of the machine. So generally I tell my customers, if you're going to do a savory and then move on to a sweet or vice versa, then what you wanna do is you wanna fill the bowl a little less than half, squirt it, do two good squirts of dishwashing liquid. And then you're going to go onto the machine over here and, um, hold on, let me get out of this. And you're gonna swipe, and there's a pre-clean function right here and it gives you four different options. So there's, if you have done a dough, if you've done you know, some general universal thing, fat and caramels, that's for um, curries and things and for browning. And so you can choose one of those uh, functions and with the fat and the caramel and the browning, it will actually heat up the water and swish it around and really give the bowl a really good clean. So it is, this was a function that just happened during lockdown and I'm so glad it came because I didn't, I knew we didn't have it two years ago. So it really cuts down on actually putting the machine, uh, the bowls in the dishwasher. So, you know, you can actually take this bowl apart and take the blade out and put everything, including the lid into the dishwasher. Um, and that is, you know, I used to have to do it a lot. And now with the pre-clean, I don't have to as much. So um, I'm going to turn it over to you, Virella. Yes, because this is done and it smells so good. So I supposed to be in a diet, but now I think I'm going to just skip today <laughs> because this smells so good. Well, the chocolate is done. I don't want to let me just try to do it like that so you can see it's all in there oh this is so good it's perfect and it's exactly it's in a perfect temperature and the only thing that i need to do now is add obviously some delicious marshmallows on top of that and then if you want you can add some chocolate a powder on top of it, but this is just amazing. Oh, love this recipe. So I don't know, uh, Raisa, I'm going, uh, I'm doing the um, cheese roll right now, or you wanna, you, do you wanna start with the soup? I can do the soup now. Well, if you want, you can. Yeah, and then you can do the cheese rolls while, um, uh, while the soup is cooking. All right. Okay. Does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask at the moment though? We've obviously gone through, yeah. Okay, so I think Katie has a question. Sorry, I'm just unmuting. I'm just gonna... With them, um, I've had my Thermomix for about five or six years. Um, and do you have to renew something, the cookie do or? 
Because obviously I don't have those recipes on my Thermomix. How does yes. it work? So do you have an account? Well, I didn't know what to do. I've got this thing that sticks on the side of it. Oh, the cookie. Yeah. The TM5. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, but it's the same. So do you need to have an account? Yeah, oh. I've, my accounts are all mixed up because I've got the one for Kingston here. And we've yeah. also got, we've got one in Spain. Yes. But they're not linked in any way. So we, we and I don't know who, I can't remember who sold me the Thermomix over here. So I don't really know what, is there like somewhere online you go to upgrade or? Yes. Uh, but why don't, Racer, why don't you take this up? Because if, if Katie's in Kingston and you're in Kingston, why don't you try and do a one-to-one -one either in person? Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. That's a really good idea. Then you'll get some proper help. Um, yeah, that'd be great. It's yeah. just that I've got all the recipes and I use them all. And I also bought like the, we've got like um, the one that does all the curries and we've got the one that does sort of, um, another one that does cakes and, and more sort of English or British food. Um, but it's just the actual, cookie cookie or whatever it's called is quite mm. old i think i think there's a subscription isn't there that you've got to pay for yearly oh is there so yeah, yeah. yeah. So i'm only signing up for renewal now because obviously i've had mine for a year okay um it's not very expensive i think it's like 50 pounds a year or something i mean it's really very reasonable and you have yeah. is it something ridiculous like twenty thousand um, no. recipes on no. that okay so i just i basically need to do my renewal that i've never done Okay, it's 75,000 recipes. I mean, I defy anyone to get through those in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, thanks. Can, can, can I ask you a question? Too? This is a really um, ignorant one as I'm not a Thermomix owner, but do you have to follow a recipe? No. Or you don't? Because you know it's like when you, when you make the same things over and over again, you just sort of throw in what you've got or how you do it. Um, so do you just get to know that you put it on that blade and for that amount of time. And so you sort of get to know it, like you know your oven and stuff. Yes, yeah, I think what I usually tell my customers when they first buy is to really follow the recipes so they get to know what temperature is and um, familiar with different temperatures and different speeds and different times because this, the machine is unlike a stovetop. So your cooking completely changes too. So your mindset has to change a little bit. And then once you do that and understand, okay, well, you know, speed five is how I chop a kilo of onions and I can do that for seven seconds, then you're gonna do that. You know, you can go off, you can go off script and do whatever you like. And the other thing you can do is even within a recipe that you're following. So there's a lot of curry recipes in here that I loosely follow. And then I just add my own stuff to it because I can make it better. <laughs> Yes, it's the queen of making things better. I can say I've watched <laughs> it. And, yeah, um, okay. and actually, um, it's fantastic because she sort of changes things about. So, as a cookie do per client rather than a, an advisor, um, one thing I would recommend if you buy it is definitely buy it through an advisor rather than through the shop because then you have someone that you can actually pick up the phone to and say, right, I have no idea what, where I'm going wrong. This recipe hasn't worked or how do I just do this? And they often will add you to a WhatsApp group. So my advisor added me to a WhatsApp group, which was fantastic. Get lots and lots of tips from that as well. But it's just so important to have someone there and you get a book, don't you? You get like a, a manual, which gives you some very basic, you know, if you want to chop onions, then you put it on speed five and for two minutes or whatever. So actually you do get quite a lot of support at the beginning, but the advisors are really the people that you should go to first. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this, um, the pumpkin soup recipe. And I've just pulled it up on my screen and I've just got this pumpkin soup and it's got feta with um, some chickpeas that I've roasted previously in the oven. Um, and so this recipe actually makes six portions and um, I'm just gonna get started. Basically, it's just putting things in and um, letting it cook. 
So the first part of the recipe talks about um, preheating the oven and adding my chickpea, roasting them. So there's, I'm gonna season my chickpeas and I'm gonna skip all these steps because I've already done this. And I'm gonna go straight to the soup part of it. So basically you're adding some cumin, some sugar, some um, garlic and things like that into your chickpeas. And you're roasting them and you're gonna come up with something that looks like this. And this is something that's gonna go sprinkle on top of your soup. And so I'm just gonna start with the recipe, um, the soup part of it. And I just need two cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna stick that in. I actually have three cloves here. Um, some oil. Now this recipe is actually in, um, this is an American recipe. So everything is in ounces um, instead of grams. And the machine just automatically toggles between metric and imperial. So you don't have to, which is great. So, and then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. I'm just eyeballing all of this. Some sage, and so I've just got some dry sage here. I'm just gonna add that in. So it's half a teaspoon, stick that in. And now I'm just gonna chop this up. It's telling me to insert the lid into, um, on the, the Thermomix, click next, and chop everything up for three seconds. At, Speeding. Click next, and I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just basically chopped everything up so you can see it's all at the side of the bowl. I'm just gonna, it's telling me to scrape everything down. So I'm just gonna push it all to the bottom. Hit next, put the lid back on. And now I'm gonna cook this for three minutes at 212 Fahrenheit. So you can see it's like stir mode. So it's a very, it's sauteing my onions, or sorry, my garlic for three minutes. So I think I can, I can start with my recipe. So I'm gonna make cheese straw, but I'm gonna make a, uh, little twist to do it more Christmassy. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. Let me just go back to my recipe. So here we go. Sorry, let me finish this first and then, all right. Cheese rolls. Okay, so it's the same. So I'm just gonna follow the steps. So the first one is preheat the oven. I have it already, um, done that. Now I need to add cheddar cheese. So I have them here. So it's 150 grams. Let's go next. And then I need to close my lid, my bowl. And then for five seconds, it's speed seven. It's gonna grate in this. I call this the happiness sound because it is, I know that it's ready and it's almost ready. So I love it. All right, so let me show you quickly. So I have all the cheese in here, really easy. And then I need to add 200 grams of flour. There we go, I have it here, ready. To dip it in, perfect. Ah, everything. And then I need to add butter. So here we go. So 100 grams. All goes in there. Let me just help me with the spatula. Here we go. Perfect. And then click next. And one egg yolk is going there. It's very, very yellow, this one. <laughs> Wait a second. 
page. And then I'm going to click next. I need to add garlic powder. So I'm just going to add like that. That's fine. And then next, mustard powder. I'm just going to go for mustard. Doesn't have to be powder. It's, it's the same. Go for it. It's one and a half teaspoon. That's perfect. Then click next. Sea salt. Dad. Good thing about this recipe, I will tell you because this recipe is amazing. And if you're vegan, if you're gluten free, if you're dairy free, you can make it. Actually, I prefer this recipe with a gluten free flour. It's amazing. So it's really, really good. So if you have friends that are there gluten free, this is perfect for them. And I'm gonna, they're gonna mix everything for 15 seconds. Seconds. Here you go. Perfect. So now we have the dog ready. Look like that. It's really easy. So I'm the only thing I'm gonna just put everything in, in my tray. That I have ready. So look, really easy to. And I'm gonna make a little ball. There you go. To make a flat dough. Yes, as I said, so gluten free, dairy free, vegan. And well, actually, if you're vegan, you don't need to add the egg. So you can add aquafada, it's perfect for this. So let me just flat this. Let me take my roller. I cannot find it, but well, I have this. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where is it. Well, I don't know because we did uh, we did um, pizza yesterday, so that's why I cannot find it. It's, it must be dirty somewhere. But well, let me. I think it's easier without it. There you go. The tablet. And you can make it the, the thinner that you want. So let's go like that. And something that I do with this recipe, I make different shapes. So I, own, I don't make just a straw, so I can leave it like that. It's no it's not perfect shape, but that's fine because I'm gonna make- Ferrella, what are you, what are you rolling on? In a baking mat. Oh, it's amazing. It's a Thermomix baking mat, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, you can have one. The stuff doesn't get stuck and you haven't got to use flour. No, not at all. It's perfect. Well, you Sorry, does that go in the oven, the mat? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. It's perfect. You can put it in the oven. Is it silicon? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. And then you can stick it in the, watch, in the dishwasher afterwards. So, again, oh. easy, easy. Does it come with a Thermomix? No. <laughs> no, but... If you host a demo, you can have it for free. So you are. <laughs> have you got to demo if you do the demo? Or can you come and do the demo for the demo person? Yes, and I can go and do it for you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm going to make the straws. Let me just do it that, like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. That, that is the thing that I love about having a Thermomix. So you don't have to be perfect like that. So you can make... See, it's not perfect, but I like that. So all your friends will know that you are doing it. So that's perfect. So I'm gonna make these three different shapes. Well, they're strong. And then I'm gonna make stars and Christmas trees. Like that. So I'm gonna go for one star and then one Christmas tree. And everything is gonna be go to the in the oven. And let me just finish this. Perfect. Trying to take it then up. The stars. How are you doing, it, Raisa? Because I can do this while you finish there, so I can show you. I can show you the next step. So okay. I've now sauteed my um, my onions, or sorry, my garlic and my sage oil, or sorry, my sage. And 
it smells really good. It's too bad you can't smell it. Um, okay, at this point, it's just the next step is to add my pumpkin. And so it's telling me either pumpkin or squash, and I just happen to have squash. And so that's what I'm going to add. It's about 32 ounces, and I'm not sure. This is basically one squash that I'm using. I've just cut it up. And I'm going to hit next is asking for some vegetable stock. So I've just got a stock cube here. And I'm going to add in um, some water. So the machine does, you, there is a recipe for making vegetable stock in the machine. Um, it's really simple. It's, you, you know, what you can do is just get all your vegetables that are slowly going off and stick them in the freezer. And when you have enough, just make some stock out of it. So super easy. So 20 mils, or sorry, 20 ounces of stock. And I'm just gonna... So I think that's about is that three cups, so about 700 grams around there, seven, 800 grams of stock. Click next. And now all I'm going to do is put the lid on and cook this for 20 minutes at speed one. So 120 degrees Celsius and 212 Fahrenheit. So it does actually say that in very small print, 120 degrees. So, um, sorry, it does say, let me backtrack. On the machine, it tells you I want to get up to 212 Fahrenheit. And the bowl is actually, in very small print, it tells you the temperature of the bowl. And so you will always know how hot or cold the ingredients of your bowl is. So that's going to cook for 20 minutes. And um, Fiorella, do you want to? Um, yes, uh, let me show you that I have a few pieces here. And I'm just going to paint them with egg a little bit. Here we go. Put it in the oven just quickly. That's good. And then I'm gonna just add a little bit of sesame seeds. If you want, you can add them. If you don't, just don't. <laughs> That's another thing about the thermomix. So you can be creative. So you don't need to follow the steps exactly what they say, but it's a they give you an idea and then you just use your crea crea creativity. <laughs> well, you understand. <laughs> you can be creative. There you go. So a little bit more in here. And now I'm going to add a few of them with some seeds in here. There you go. I think that's perfect. And I'm just going to put them in the oven. And I will show you this later in six minutes. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to show you cookie dew. And I'm, can I share my screen, um, Caroline? We need to make you a host. Hang on a second. Bear with me. Um, here we go. Okay. I, I've done it, Caroline. And I'll do the same for Farella. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Okay, so there we go. So you can now see cookie dew, right? Yep, we can see it. Okay, so this is um, this is my cookie dew, and cookie dew comes with the machine. Uh, you get six months free um, with purchase, and then I think it's around thirty pounds a year. And Cookie Do is just a platform. It's got about 70,000 recipes in different languages. I think about 12,000 are actually in English. Um, and it's, there are so many that you'll never get bored. But when you're looking at the home screen, you're, this is really the main screen. And this is what you'll see on, the, um, on your machine as well. 
you've got three options that you can explore. And this is a search function right here. You can go to my recipes and my week. So if I go to explore, and this is the first page, this is where it's telling me, okay, we've, we've added these extra recipes. This is, these are the latest recipes. Um, these are what people are cooking. And then if you scroll down, you've got ideas for Christmas. Um, there's different articles. Uh, there's a blade, uh, a peeler coming out, which peels your potatoes and root vegetables. So it's giving you more information on that. And then um, it's giving you the latest collections. So we are constantly adding cookbooks to the platform. And this is where you'll find all the latest ones. Um, but if I go to explore, this is where I can say, for example, I can type in vegan and do a search. Now I've got this filter here and I have two options up here. So I can do recipes or I can do cooking collections and it will come up with all of the, the um, different cookbooks that are on the machine in, in all different languages. I actually have a translator here, which is a Safari translator. So I can, um, so I can see recipes in, from all different countries. Um, if I go to filters, this is where I can filter by either if it's a starter, a soup, a main dish, a dessert, things like that. I can filter with uh, either the, the version of machine I have. I know one person here has a TM31. Um, and then I know someone else on here has a TM5 and then the TM6. And I can do it by countries as well and languages. So if I go to United Kingdom in the US and Australia, then it's gonna show me, it's going to basically filter out all of the, um, the, the cookbooks that are in English. And then I can have a look and see all of these things. Um, and that's how I'm gonna do my search. So there's, there's a lot of things you can do here. So if I go even into recipes and do vegan, um, then I can scroll down and, and show me all these different recipes. Um, the other thing that we have is my recipes. And this is where you can save, I've got folders here for myself and I can save all the different recipes into these different folders. I can save cookbooks into the different folders. So if I was going back to explore and for example, um, going to the vegan option here again, and I wanted to, you know, make the vegan apple and nut crumble, then I could just save that to my collection and say, okay, I want to add it to my vegan collection here. Um, and then I'll just save it. The other thing that is something new that just came out in November is the created recipes. Um, and that is really fantastic because that just gives you um, the option of importing an existing recipe on Cookie Do into your created recipes and modifying it, or creating a whole new recipe that, you know, it might be your grandmother's pumpkin pie. Um, and you can actually add that into cookie do now. So you at the option, I think right now, the limit is 100 recipes, but it's just, it's, it's a game changer. So chicken and yogurt is a really, um, everybody makes that. It's a very uh, popular recipe on Thermomix. And so all I did was import it into my created recipes and then changed it to the way that I like it. So I literally just went in, clicked on this pencil button and then scroll down and change the quantities in the ingredients and even in the steps. So very, um, just a really fantastic addition to cookie do. The other thing that is really good, the other option that you have is you can actually plan your whole week. You can plan your month and that's where this my week comes in. So if I click on my week, 
I can actually um, add in, plan my week day by day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, add my ingredients to my shopping list and order it and send it over to Tesco or Asda or whatever. So if I go to my recipes, for example, and say, okay, well, you know what, I'm gonna go to my dinner recipes here and I'm gonna make chole tonight. So I can say, okay, I'm gonna cook that. I've got options here. I can cook today. I can um, move this recipe from one folder to another. I can add it to my week. I can add it to my shopping list or I can get rid of it. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna add it to my week. And when I do that, it gives me um, a calendar and that's where I can add it in to whatever day that I'm planning on making it. So I'm just gonna save that and I'm gonna take this risotto and I'm gonna add that to my week and cook that today. So you'll go through the different recipes and you'll just add in whatever it is that you wanna add for the week. And you can see that um, I've added in the risotto and all of this. And so once I do that, then I can take that, I can add these things to my shopping list. And basically with this, this option, you touch the three dots and add it to your list. You can see it come up here on the right side. And now I'm gonna just say, okay, show me the ingredients. And you can see the ingredients either by category or by recipe. And I always check, I always do the by recipes before I do um, categories just to make sure that there isn't sort of this rogue recipe that I've added and I don't, you know, and I've forgotten about it. So if I go into categories, now here's where everything is sorted by um, different, you know, I've got baking ingredients, beverages, cereals, and whatever. Go down the list and I tick everything that I actually have in my cabinet. So I already have sugar. I have tons of ras um, cranberries. And if I scroll down, I already have butter and feta cheese. And then I'm just gonna keep going down this list and tick everything that I have. So, you know, all of these um, spices, I've got those. And, um, at the bottom, it will show me all the items that I've crossed off. So it's sort of double checking to make sure that that you have really, you know, is this double checking that you haven't ticked something that you act by accident or whatever. And the other thing that you can do is add additional items. So if I want to add some personal, I can do that. It could be any non-food item. It could be another food item. So um that's not it's not parsley okay i'm going to add colgate let's see there so you see i've got um toothpaste here and parsley so once i've got on my list then i can go to the options and say okay i want to share this with my husband who happens to be at the store i want to print it or i just want to clear it or I can go straight to ordering ingredients. And that's where it takes me to this platform called Whisk. And I can order the ingredients at Ocado, Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Tesco, or Amazon. And so if I click on Ocado, then it's going to give me options of swapping things out. And it's going to tell me the total. And so what I generally do is I just do I do a price check just to see who's the cheapest. Sainsbury's is 66 pounds and I've got a Cotto at 109. So it's a really good way to um, see how much it, to, to get a price check. Um, and so that is, I, I don't think I've missed anything. There's a lot of, um, you know, cookie do you can spend a whole hour talking about it, but it is a really, um, it, it's just a really versatile platform.
You're really, I haven't, is there anything that I've missed? No, I think, I think, I think that's, that's really good. So I think once you start using Kukiru, you will start uh, feeling confident and you will start like playing with it. And as Raisa said, you can just go for uh, different um, uh, recipes and you can filter them for languages, uh, country, you can go for vegan or you can add any ingredients. Something good about it is, uh, for example, I have some stuff in my fridge and like, I don't know what to do. So I can go to Cookie Doo and say, well, I have carrot, chicken and onion. So it will give me ideas of what can I cook with that. So it's, it's, it's an, amazing, an amazing tool that we have for, for the Thermomix. And you will see, you will, you, will, you will get in love with it. So at the beginning, I was like telling my husband, I'm very, very worried because I'm all the time thinking about the Thermomix, thinking all the recipes, more than thinking about my husband. So, but now, now I fixed that. It's perfect now. I have the perfect balance. <laughs> but yes, Kukiru is an amazing tool and it will give you a lot of recipes, a lot of ideas. And you will see that you will start cooking from all around the world and it will be really, really easy. So yeah, I think that's pretty, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I think uh, so I've just pulled up these, these gluten-free options just to see, and there's 9,900 different yeah. uh, recipes in here. And um, yeah, so it's, it's a really um, very versatile. So I think we do have an offer on that Fiorello is going to talk about. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen now. Is there any questions that anyone has? The only thing I'd like to mention is that the star system is really good, especially when you're starting off. So if you go in and look for a chicken curry, for example, you'll find loads of recipes. I always looked at the ones that had really high reviews, so 4.8 or something like that out of five. And that was a really good way of just whittling them down. Otherwise, it is a bit overwhelming. Yeah, but well, it, it, well, with that, I always, I am like very, very, um, I know that sometimes they're going to be five star recipes, but they're not going to be so good for me. So I, I think it depends on the, on the taste because I have been cooking recipes one star and they were like, wow, amazing. I just love them. So it's, it's good to have that in there <laughs> just to check and give you ideas and like, okay, let's try it. And oh yes, they were right. It's perfect. So it's five star recipe, but don't, don't, don't waste the, the one star recipes because they're really good as well. <laughs> so I can tell you that. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, you were going to talk about the offers for Christmas. Yes, so let's do it. But first, let me show you the face. It's amazing. Look at that. So I have my cheese straws there, my stars, and my Christmas tree ready. And I'm going to eat them later with a dip that I'm going to make in the Thermomix, of course. And I'm going to show you the rest of the, the offer that we have at the moment. So you will get a Thermomix. The Thermomix is a hundred, uh, a thousand and 149 pounds. But in, in this month, we have an amazing offer that is for 20 pounds more, you will get this amazing book that is the Christmas book. Let me just show you a little bit about it inside. Just, you will see a lot of recipes. You will see ideas. It's a lovely, lovely book. It will give you, well, it's, Look at that, it's, it's amazing, it's beautiful. And then you will receive a um, Christmas apron. Do you have the Christmas apron, uh, Raisa? Because I, I don't know where is my, <laughs> that's why I say, well, red and green, because I don't know where is my apron. Well, I can show you. If I share my screen, maybe I can show it. Well, she's gonna get it. And then we have the thermo saver. So this is an amazing bowl, so as you can see here like that so in here you can keep your food cool or warm so if you're making a dog you can prove it here if you made a ice cream you can put it here and it, it will keep them um, cold and then if you do a risotto you can put it here and it will help it keep them um, warm so this is this is really really good and you will receive everything for 20 pounds only 20 pounds you will save almost a hundred pounds with this amazing offer. So the, the, the apron is there. It's, it's lovely. It's amazing. And it's, 
Is it's that a suction lid on the tin? Sorry? On the on the tin. What is the lid? Is it a suction lid or just rests on top? Yes, just rest in here. Yes, just rest, but yes, it's, it's good. It's good. And um, yes, so you can have it, you we have three options for you. So you can get the Thermomix in one payment. So you can buy in, in credit or debit card, or you can go for finance and we have a great plan. So you can go for 12 months, 24 or 36 a month. So and you can have it from 37 pounds. And then um, and the other thing you can do is join our team. So if you want to do the same as, as we do, loving the Thermomix and just Share, sharing this with the world and be yes be an advisor like us let us know you can be here and you can have the thermomix for free and, and yes that's it so i think it's a really nice offer and the best way the best thing you can have it for christmas so that's the best if you're thinking to buy it the last day that we can guarantee the christmas delivery is the 17th okay so if you're thinking about it let, let us know before the 17th if you will have it for sure in Christmas. And that's it. Any questions? Okay, so my soup is almost done. So I'm just going to blend it. And it takes one minute to blend, so that'll be the last step. It's just um, cooling down. So seconds. I just need to do it. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you what it looks like right now. So it looks like a very, you know, um, pieces of pumpkin. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next step. And it's just telling me to blend, turn the speed selector to speed four and blend it for a minute. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to put myself on mute. Any questions, ladies? There's nothing in the chat. So if anyone has a question they'd like to ask, um, feel free to unmute yourself. Yes, Thermomix owners, uh, what gadgets do you think this replaces? Ooh, I'm not going to say it. You, you say it. <laughs> Uh, pretty much everything, if I'm honest. I mean, there are days when I just don't touch my oven. Um, the only thing, it doesn't replace a, a toaster, but it replaces pretty much, you can boil water in it, you can grind coffee beans, you can cook a full meal. Um, yeah, because if, if you use the Varoma, you can actually cook a whole chicken. I mean, honestly, it is, it's a bit bonkers how much it can do, if I'm honest with you. Sarah, what I find with it is it's everything is in one place. So if I was to, if I were to make a cake normally, I seem to cover my whole kitchen in stuff and bits and it probably takes me about two hours and everything's a mess. Whereas if I want to make quickly some cookies or some you know cupcakes or muffins or whatever, you can do it in in minutes. And it's all just been in that one pot. So there's and then as they've mentioned, it cleans it stuff so it's just so much easier yeah, and I'm also sure. with soups all the chopping all that's all done for you so it's, it's it's mainly for me it's a massive um it saves you so much time and mess well i think there's a new tool isn't there where you can actually peel potatoes oh, yeah i just saw that really? <laughs> i'm gonna get one of those i mean seriously i hate peeling potatoes so when i make mashed potato i'll make a complete and utter hash of it because i can't stand peeling the potatoes um, anyway, if I'm going to get one of those tools, it'll do it for me. And then it'll cook it and then it'll mash it. I mean, <laughs> it's just wow. So, yes, it pretty much replaces everything. Let me show you. I have it here. Sorry for the alarm. It was the oven. It was so cold. Look, it's this one. Ah. Oh. Yes. It's, it's what is that? That's the, the pizza. Okay. The pizza. It's really good. It's really good. I tried with potatoes and it was amazing. They were like, oh, this is so cool. And you can you can use them with, you can use it with potato, carrot, beetroot. So any type of veggie that you need to peel it before. It's really good. So we're getting better. That's something that I love about the thermometer as well. So we, we're getting better all the time. So we are 
having more mode, more recipes, more information, more, 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 more. So it's always more. So that's something that is really, really nice about this. Okay, I'm just gonna show you my soup. So I've just dressed it up, added the chickpeas on here and added some feta cheese. So I'm gonna take my laptop and show you. Can you see it? Yes, we can. Okay, so that is the soup. It's blended um, into a really nice consistency. I know a lot of chefs love the machine because of the blending and obviously those bechamel sauces and you, you, it's just really, it's just very time, con time consuming to do it with a whisk and all of that and the machine just does it for you. So um, that is pumpkin soup and oh, my cookies are also dry. Show you. So these are my cookies. Excellent. Yeah, you should try these, Caroline. They're really easy. Yeah, I'm going to, don't worry. I love things like that. So I just got a couple of questions. Um, how do I grind coffee? I've just bought some coffee beans. Is there a special thing in there that tells me how to do it? Or do I just use the, the sort of 10 mode or eight mode or whatever? Um, I think there is a recipe on cookie dew. Okay, probably yeah. is. Like seventy five thousand, there probably is. Um, and can you just describe, Racy? You've done this on um, Instagram, I think, that you can make your own butter. Yeah. So you can. Um, what I do is I just buy the the big six hundred mils of um, of double cream, and I make my own butter and buttermilk. And there is a recipe on Cookie Do. Uh, I think you blend you basically use the whisk um, whisk attachment, put it in your, um, in the mixing bowl and whip it for two minutes at three and a half and it will come up, it will make the most, it will make butter and buttermilk. And ever since I, I think I started doing that about six months ago and ever since then, I actually don't buy much butter anymore. It's just too easy. <laughs> it's too easy. And if you buy, if you buy the, the um, cream that is like re reduced to clear because it's like that day or the day before a uh, date, that's perfect. So you can use that. So you will save money with that. And you can add herbs. You can add garlic if you want. So it's like a lot of things that you can do with your own water. And yes, as Raisa says, so easy. It's so easy. And you will you will notice the difference when you make just with um, cream and something else and not with additive or uh, conservative or crazy stuff that we always buy in the, in the shops that the butter, milk and everything. So. Yeah, I think with butter, you can, um, I usually buy as much cream as, you know, yeah. if it's on offer, then I'll just buy a whole bunch and freeze, make a lot of butter and freeze it because it just saves me a lot of money, especially now. Everything seems to be going up. Yeah, I think that is one thing to say. I mean, it does sound like a lot of money to spend originally, and, I, and I'm not going to deny that because it took me five years to make that decision. Um, but you do save a lot of money because you're making things from scratch. You're not buying stuff. I mean, for example, a lasagna. If you buy a lasagna for four people, it'll cost you £8.50 and you can make it for about £2.50, which we did on Saturday. So I mean, honestly, it does save you money in the long term. It just you've got to make that initial outlay. Um, but I, I bought mine on finance and so it didn't feel quite as painful. And actually, I think that's a really good way of making it seem you know, like a good investment, but not something that's too difficult to actually to go for in, at the very beginning. So yeah. there we are. Is, um, it, is it worth, because there's a few owners and obviously um, real converts to Thermomix, is it worth talking a little bit more about if anyone wants to join your teams? Um, yeah, so... The, was that something you would take offline, but just want to flag it in case anyone's interested? Yes, yes, of course. We would love to have more people in our team, right, Raisa? So okay. yes, obviously, if they, if you are owner, so you can just come to our team and you will start receiving commission from day one. So if you make one sale, you will receive commission for that. If you're not an owner, 
you will have three months to have um, to place four cells. And then at the end of this time, so you can decide, well, I just made two cells. So you will receive 50%. Or if you make just one cell, you will receive 20%. And if you make three cells, you will receive 80%. And obviously, if you make four cells in three months, you will get it for free. All right. Um, it's easy. It's easy. So if you want to join, why not? So let's let's do it. Pretty much sells itself. I think that's the good thing. You don't have to be a natural salesperson um, it, because the machine is just so brilliant. Um, so look, I think we've probably covered everything. I will email everybody later with the recording so that you can watch anything back. Um, and also um, I'll include contact details for Racer and for Fiorella. So if you are interested in learning a bit more, then um, please do contact them directly. Um, follow them on Instagram and Facebook. They've both got fantastic pages, um, really worth looking at. Lots of hints and tips, lots of videos. Um, so I hope you've all really enjoyed it. It's been fantastic. I'm certainly gonna make quite a lot of those recipes. Those cheese straws look fabulous, they really do. And the biscuits. Um, and you know, gluten-free for me is the way to go. So actually being able to do this for myself as well as for my kids, it's just fantastic. So thank you very much, ladies. Um, unless anyone has anything else, I think we can close for now. Thanks thank you very much. much. Thank you. Well, really nice meeting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thank you.